What's up guys, Baker here. I am back with another tutorial. First tutorial with my new mic. I hope you guys enjoy it. Today I have real organic camera wiggle. And basically what this is, is um, I was tired of using the normal wiggle settings and um, I just felt like it looked or f felt you know too uh, computerized, too machinery I guess. And I wanted a real organic wiggle. And um, I uh, made this thing and made a few presets for you guys so you can use this. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download this uh, organic wiggle preset folder. Go ahead and download that from the description. And you can either place this in your user presets, which should be under your documents, Adobe, uh, your After Effects user presets. And that's where you make all your custom presets and you can just place them there. Or you can go into your applications folder, After Effects, and then your presets folders, and then you can just make a custom folder in there as well. So just uh, download those, drag them in, put them somewhere, and go back into After Effects, and click this little tab on the right and refresh your list. So it'll, uh, you know, re-index everything and find your presets. All right, so let's just jump right in, see what this is, and yeah. So you may ask, how is this real organic wiggle? Well, basically, this is uh, all derived from a real camera. And I tracked it and recorded the wiggle settings and everything and put them into a preset. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Let's uh, make a new adjustment layer. So what I have here is just uh, a tripod video of me proposing. So we can scrub through and see that it's uh, static it's cool kinda of boring but well not boring you know what I mean it's uh, just static and I want this to look like you know maybe someone's filming or just have some uh, real wiggle and stuff so let's go to the very beginning and let's search up organic and we got these uh, organic wiggles so we have uh, six settings here I'm just gonna go through all of them pretty fast but uh, short range we drag that on and the keyframes if you push U close these out keyframes here should last about four minutes so that should be that should cover everything that you you should need so and if we just scrub through here actually let's, let's uh, ramp preview we see we got a little bit of uh, random wiggliness so ramp preview looks cool so let's look at these settings so we have intensity control 100% so if it's not wiggly enough we can just turn this up 200% and a quick RAM preview for that one. I'll turn down the uh, speakers so it's not too loud. But now you can see the uh, wiggle is definitely more intense. So a little bit more realistic. I also have a smooth control. If we uh, check that, the camera will be smoothed out, all the keyframes. And um, that's pretty cool. Let's check that out. Very nice, very smooth. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and you can adjust, um, let's say, like if we go down to transform, see how the uh, background is not straight? I can just, you know, rotate this still, and uh, all the wiggle settings will not be affected, and that's pretty cool. And of course, you can uh, scale up if you want, because I know if, uh, let's say, your wiggle intensity is too high, 300, you will start to see the edge up here, right? So you can just adjust your motion tile settings to, let's say, 125. 125, that takes care of that. But just in case, you know, you have some detail and it's not a, a plain sky and you get that weird mirroring edge and you don't really want that, you can just adjust your scale. Scale up just a little bit just to, just to hide that. So that's the first wiggle. I can just delete this. So this was derived. It's a... Uh, it says short range, that means I just uh, filmed something at a close range with my camera, track that. Uh, medium range and long range, so long range would be, you know, like uh, you're zoomed in really far away and it's a little bit more shaky, I guess, naturally. So, yeah, that's that. Um, let's go to zoom in, this one's pretty cool. So let's go to the beginning again, and let's do zoom in out. Let's do that one. So the first one is just zoom in, but this one 
has a, a feature where I zoom in and then kind of adjust and zoom out so it's like a realistic uh, uh, camera operation I guess uh, if we push U and close these out I have a little small uh, marker down here that just tells you where exactly the zoom in starts so I'm gonna go when I drop to my knee and bring this over and line up that keyframe that so just like that let's see how that looks alright so we got a little bit of wiggle talking and stuff and the camera guys like oh gotta zoom in oh there we go alright and then some more wiggles afterwards so yeah pretty cool realistic uh, zoom in zoom out um, and extra is just some some extra wiggles if you want that but you got all these cool settings so if you want it to zoom in even more 150 you got that so more wiggles more zoom in smooth control makes it a lot nicer and um, yeah that's pretty much it just uh, make sure let's say if you have like a really long composition like remember these last for four minutes um, let's delete this when you drag this on don't drag it somewhere in the middle of your clip because if you push you your keyframes start where your timeline indicator is so if you have a long edit go to the very beginning and then drag it on and that'll work so yeah that's pretty much it you got six organic wiggle presets all pretty cool stuff pretty customizable you can uh, apply this to a 3d camera let's say if you're doing motion graphics and stuff but um, I won't really get into that uh, right now but um yeah, so feel free to download this, mess around, make some cool organic wiggling edits and stuff, and um, hopefully you can turn your uh, tripod videos or just any other videos you have into more realistic, more interesting pieces of footage. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this free preset. Um, yeah, go ahead and like, favorite, share, whatever, comments. If you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, I hope you enjoy my new mic. Let me know if it's uh, sounding any better, if uh, I need to adjust any settings and whatnot. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop talking now. All right. Peace.